ladies. <clears throat> right, I apologise, I look a bit of a dog today, but I'm not going out. I'm going to clean my house and craft all day, so I'm not wasting my makeup. <laughs> right, I'm a bit frustrated, if anybody can help me. I'm really struggling to do, to upload um, films to YouTube or anything but this blooming iPad, which makes it impossible for me to do tutorials. Now, I've got a, a lovely new... Um, laptop for Christmas that does quick player and also can use photo boom and I believe you can go on your webcam straight from the YouTube uploading page as well can I upload a video what of it and I want mine but the laptop I've got is the same brand as my iPad um, I managed to upload one video on Christmas on New Year's Eve using it and I look like a Chinese a bad Chinese film <laughs> Me talking were out of sync with my mouth, which is easily done because I talk quite fast and I talk a lot of rubbish. <laughs> but I really want to get into making tutorials. I've got all this lovely space set up, and I did do a tutorial last night on a project that I'm going to show you now. And it was quite a decent film. And would it upload? No. So I tried to do it in different formats and things like that, and ended up deleting it. So I took my bat and ball home and I went to bed. <laughs> So there's no tutorial for this now and it was a really good one as well. But I really need to get into doing them. So if anybody's got any suggestions of uploading, it it like tells me that it's taking like 437 hours to upload. I don't have a lot of patience at best of times. Right. <laughs> but I'll get there. Um, This is a project that I've done. And this is going to... My chair's a bit high up on my eyes. <laughs> I've got one of them that swivels round and so that it's right out for the table and I'll just sit like that. It's for Betsy Doodle for Dee because she sent me a lovely rack, bless her, um, for a swap and I said that in return I would make her something and I asked what she wanted and she said a pin cushion. So this is what I've made. So this is what I've made. So there you go. Um, I've looked at a few tutorials, my favourite one at the moment. Um, obviously, apart from Fiona, because everything she does is my favourite. <gasps> but on this very rare occasion, I did find one that I liked better. Sorry, Fiona. Um, and that was by Lovely Scrapping. And she did a Victorian-inspired one. And it's just gorgeous. Um, but I didn't want to copy it directly. So this is mine. Um, it's not shabby chic, it's not vintage, it's not nothing. It's just me. Pink, fluffy. And hopefully she thinks it's pretty. So I've just started off with a, a salsa jar. Um, I use them for my Christmas, Christmas fair and I, I, and I keep saving them from the um, salsa that we eat quite a lot of. <laughs> Some bizarre reason. Um, so yeah, I've just used a salsa jar. I've stuffed it with... Um, it's. I might put some felt on the bottom to hide it, but I've left it to show you. I've just shoved it with... Um, it's duvet filling. Uh, that's what I'm going to use for any form of stuffing until that duvet has run out. <laughs> Getting my money's worth out of that duvet. Um, but it's a bit thicker and a bit more compact than, say, toy stuffing. So you've got to bear that in mind. When I was doing the dome, you know, the dome shape for the top to put the stick pins in, I, I pulled about it a bit so that it wasn't too hard, otherwise your pins won't go in. So I did that and then um, I lined... The, covered the top of the filling with <clears throat> some of this cotton or whatever it is, I think it's some form of cotton. It's off of a vintage tea tray and I've used, I've, I've, I've cut off all of the crocheted edging to use um, but rather than just waste the fabric um, obviously I will use it so I, I've covered the top of the stuffing with that and then I've just got it in a ball and just put it in, I've not glued it, I've not anything. Some people do tie the bottom off with an elastic band but I didn't have one so to hand anyway. And then I um, got this big flower doiler and I, I did initially cut all of these flowers off that was round the edge because I just wanted the centre bit. Um, and then as I progressed I ended up using the rest of it anyway. But um, I've lined it all with felt, nice pink felt because I, I've only got my glue gun. Um, I think the E600 glue from what I can gather is better for using on glass, um, but I don't have any, so I thought, well, if I 
felt will stick to anything, won't it? Let's be honest. So I thought it's nice and thick, it'll hide the glue because obviously it's going to dry quicker, isn't it? On glasses, hot glue. So it's going to be lumpy. So it's hidden that, just wrapped it. And then I put um, this row of flower, the, the edge of the doily. Now the, there was like what, an inch, half an inch of the rest of the doily still still attached to these flowers and I folded it over and tucked that in. So it kind of helps make a really neat seal. And then I just ran this um, pearl necklace, I think it was, from a charity shop round. Again, to hide the um, lip of the glass jar, because it was a little bit ugly. But um, I like to recycle stuff. I thought, I'm not buying something to make a pincushion out of. Um, it kind of seemed a bit dead, so that's what I've done. And then I stuck individual pearls on with my hot glue. Now, whether they'll come off in the post, I don't know, but I'm sure Betsy Doodle can just stick them back on. <laughs> and then once it's on your table, it'll be fine. I've got this vintage trim here, I really like that. That was sent to me by Belinda from Koala Crafts. And then I've just, um, this little slider was in with some stuff I think Kimmy Ward sent me. And um, I've just ran some ribbon that um, I had around there just to look a bit pretty. I didn't want it all completely lace, um, which is why I've done the pink underneath. So. So I think that looks alright. And then at the top here I've just decorated it. Um, that's the middle, so these decorations are to one side and they're like down the side. And I've done that on purpose because obviously it's a pin cushion and if you put too much embellishments on then you're not going to get your pins in. So they are purposely to one side. So let's see if I can show you this little ribbon rose flower and it's backed with a little lace applique. That's like... A really nice um, creamy colour. They've come from uh, Little Snippets from Geraldine. So thank you, Geraldine. And a little pink bling. I've used them before. And then this little acrylic bling here. Betsy Doodle actually sent me that. And I've been keeping hold of them. I've had to battle with Alexia to keep them because she would get, tried to nick them on several occasions. But um, I just thought it looked really nice there. So I've, I've used it. And then I've backed it with a lovely feather. Again, Bet uh, Betsy Doodle did send me these feathers because um, I really like it uh, when Fiona uses them. So I'm starting to run out of these, so I'm going to have to be ordering some more, um, I think. Um, I really, really like using them. But they do irritate my nose. I'm like this all the time. <laughs> so, <laughs> my nose itch. Uh, and then I just made these little stick pins. Um, I do, I have watched loads of, well, most, nearly all of Fiona's tutorials where she's made stick pins and she's got quite a lot. So if you go to Jenny and Sticks 44, type in stick pins. She does vintage stick pins, shabby chic stick pins, angel stick pins. I've watched nearly all of them because I just like the way she does them and um, just basically no nonsense attitude. Um, so, yeah, go and have a look if you're struggling with stick pins. Uh, this one's just out of a little dressmaker's pin, it's, uh, it's only short. This one's slightly longer, it's a corsage pin and it's topped with a little crystal. And there is a little crystal of bead at the bottom there that does, re like, you can just see it catching light. It does catch the light, it's really nice. And I've used spaces and bead caps and what have you, just to make them look that bit prettier. So there you go. Now, if I were to ask what style it, if I was asked what style it is, I think it looks a bit, um, it reminds me of a 1920s flapper girl with a flower in her hat and a little beaded cap. Um, they had like crochet beaded caps, didn't they? But um, yeah, so that's um, for D, for Betsy Doodle. So I hope she likes it. Uh, I have tested it, you can get pins in it. There's no glue in the top, so you can get pins in it. It's just because it's a duvet, it's a little bit denser than, um, but yeah. So, there you go, and um, I'll probably make her a few stick pins to go in that as well. Although, there won't be many, because if I'm honest, she's better at making them than me. <laughs> so, but I'll make a few. And um, So, I'll be sending that off to you soon, Dee, so I hope that's alright. And I hope that'll sit nicely on your desk for when you're making your stick pins. Because um, she said that the one she had was quite old, it was a mother's, so she could do with a new one. 
So there you go, they can always sit side by side. So there you go. I'm going to bet, I really need to start out this tutorial business because I've got quite a lot of challenges coming up. I'm doing Irene Seriously Scrapping's birthday challenge and I'm doing, well I'm hoping to do um, Scrapping Happy. I'll just try and get in short, I'll just like lean down a bit. <laughs> Scrapping Happy is doing a challenge to do a, a page of a um, fabric book and which I, I quite like doing and then obviously I've got my list book to finish <laughs> and what else oh um Ruth Burr if you hop along to her channel she's listed down my sidebar um on my um featured channels um she's doing a she's just reached 100 subbies so congratulations and she's doing a little challenge a domino altered domino challenge so I'm going to try and have a go at that even though I don't know where I'm going to get, like, one domino from. Probably buy them on eBay, can't you? I'll have a look. Um, so, yeah, I've got quite a lot of stuff coming up. And then I'm doing a few things for Kimmy Ward, um, who's trying to get up and started with her Etsy shop. So she's got a few of us uh, doing a few projects to help her get along. That's what we're here for, isn't it? So hopefully there'll be quite a lot of stuff coming up from me. So keep watching and if you're a new subscriber, um, have a look at some of the, my old videos. Um, see what you think. Any suggestions or any comments, criticisms, um, recipes, donations, bank account details, put them all in the <laughs> description box. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> And I will see you all later, ladies. Let's hope this one uploads, because otherwise I'm just going to sit and sulk all day. <laughs> okay then, see you later. Take care. Bye for now.